Hey everyone, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today with a quick report on the best horror products I saw at New York Toy Fair 2018. This was a big year for horror toys, and in particular, the IT franchise, and NECA led the way. Before Toy Fair, NECA did an internet unveiling of their two new Pennywise the Clown figures from both the original IT TV movie and the more recent film. Seeing them in person, however, was a completely different experience. These figures are terrifying, and each comes with alternate hands, balloons, and scary heads. The Tim Curry figure was a real showstopper, and while I would love to own it, I think I'll sleep better knowing some of you guys have it on your shelves instead of mine. NECA also had some new items from Friday the 13th, with new Jason Voorhees figures and a Camp Crystal Lake diorama set, which will feature items from several Jason movies to complete the experience. There's also a new quarter-scale Jason, with 18 inches of slashing fun. This Jason includes a bloody knife, axe, an unmasked face, and as well as a messed up looking hand. In the same vein, no pun intended, we also have more figures from the Evil Dead movie and the Ash vs. Evil Dead TV series on Stars. The likeness for Bruce Campbell on these figures is phenomenal. The photos don't really do it justice, unfortunately, but I really do recommend hunting these down when they come out to see just how good they are. Best of all, NECA also has a new ashy slashy hand puppet in the possessed style that you hardcore fans are going to really want to get your hands on. Well, I guess literally in that case. Rounding out NECA's booth, they also had two new Mego style figures of Freddy Krueger, a zombie ghost guy from The Fog, and Herbert West Reanimator, which looks exactly like Jeffrey Coombs. Right around the corner from NECA was Mezco, who is deep in all horror lines with a multitude of products. Mezco had plushies, puzzle boxes, stylized figures, dolls, and flatzos of characters from Child's Play, Hellraiser, Friday the 13th, Trick or Treat, The Exorcist, The Conjuring, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and probably some I'm forgetting because there were so many. They have so much scary stuff in their booth, it's a little eerie being in there by yourself sometimes. The flatzos do look really cool though, and the new figures are also really great. That melting Chucky face will give you nightmares for days. On the other side of their booth was their 112 Collective line, which has all sorts of cool characters from movies and comics, but also included a few zombies from Night of the Living Dead and Ash from the Evil Dead. I hope that Mezco is able to one day do 112 figures of Freddy Krueger, among other horror icons, because those would be some amazing looking horror figures. The Loyal Subjects unveiled a brand new line of mystery figure blind box toys in their booth, which included their stylized versions of characters from Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, it and the exorcist and yes linda blair comes with her bed on the topic of the exorcist you're going to also get the old priest in this line as well which i'm pretty sure is an action figure first this series includes multiple versions of freddy's and jason's as well as a very cool chase flocked version of pennywise as that interdimensional spider monster for some more light-hearted horror fun i recommend looking at playmobile's upcoming monster line yes Playmobil, which, while not scary in any way, are just really cool figures and playsets of a haunted house with classic versions of your favorite generic monsters. Playmobil makes some really fun stuff, and the playsets are almost in scale with 3 or 4 inch figures, which is an added bonus. So don't knock it until you try it, because these are actually pretty cool looking. Super 7 showed off a new line of reaction style action figures of classic movie licenses, as well as Halloween candy buckets. I'm a big fan of Super 7, especially their minifigures, so I'm hoping this brand does well for them. So well, in fact, that they'll start doing muscle figures like they've done with so many other franchises. If you were a fan of when Funko did their reaction horror figures, you will love these, as since Super 7 and Funko split, Super 7 has really upped their game when it comes to sculpting, and these toys are going to look amazing when they're actually out in the wild. But my number one horror pick for Toy Fair 2018 has to be Funko, and I can't believe I'm saying that either, but who doesn't love a twist ending? What got me was their new line of 5.5 inch slasher figures from their upcoming Savage World line. We will be getting figures of Jason, Freddy, Michael Myers, Leatherface, and Pinhead in a style of figure similar to the old Mattel He-Man toys of the 80s. This was a huge surprise to me and one of my favorite things at the show, especially because these guys are also in scale with the Conan the Barbarian figures Funko is also making. So just imagine, you could have Conan vs. Jason, Freddy vs. Tulsa Doom, the possibilities are endless, and these figures are going to be amazing. Thanks for watching this quick roundup of all the best horror toys I saw at New York Toy Fair 2018. If I missed something you liked at Toy Fair, let me know in the comments. 
And don't forget to check out all of our extensive Toy Fair 2018 coverage on this channel with loads of videos from many other companies. Please like, share, and subscribe while you're at it too. I'm Matthew from Nerd News Today, and thank you for watching.